Steve Langford from Howard 100 News is here to give us an update. What do you got, Steve? Just some of the stories we're working on in the Howard 100 Newsroom. What on earth is high pitch Mike hiding? As the first anniversary of his sickening Siobhan sit-down stunt approaches, the prize high pitch Mike won is still one big mystery. So, this Howard 100 News reporter showed up outside high pitch Mike's apartment in the Bronx to ask to see if his big screen TV is still in the box as he claims. But high pitch Mike having no part of it, refusing to allow his news colleague in to see the alleged television. Perhaps Why? the funniest line ever uttered by high pitch Mike. He calls news director Brad Driver on the cell phone and says, what is Steve Langford doing here? Howard? Yeah. You know, it's funny because High Pitch Mike just came to me a few minutes ago and he gave me tape. If you go to GP2 yeah. in uh, the first column in yellow, he says Friday morning he just comes out of his apartment to go to work and there's Steve Langford standing on his corner <laughs> insisting on being you know, let into the apartment and Mike won't let him in. It's really funny. Let me hear this. Come on, let's go see the seat. TV. You don't need to see it. Why not? Come on. Why not? Because. Let's, uh, let's go to look at it. No. Why not? No, 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 no. Why not? Because. No, no, no. Would you go to Howard's house? Would you go to Would you go to Robin's house? Michael, no. I'm not answering the question. Because you don't need to be in my house to look at a TV. Yes, I That's do. why. No, you don't. We gotta go. No, I'm Michael, seriously. Michael. I have work to do. What, what's going on here, Mike? Uh, you're a part of the news department. Why would you care if they see your TV is still in the box? I have made no secret that I won the TV. I've left it in the box. I'm planning to move, and I just I don't want it to get fucked up before I move. Yeah, you know, so it's, it's expensive to me. You you had Siobhan's vagina, fake vagina, on your face, and you don't watch that TV for a year. Well, having her sit on my face is the equivalent of paying what that costs. That's four or five thousand dollars for that TV. It's not a big secret that it's in the box. This guy shows up at my house like some sort of stalker. But why would you care? I don't want him in my fucking apartment. Why? He's creepy. Steve is creepy. You're Steve not creepy, is and creepy. He is. You're creepy too. Uh, You're a news guy. This guy walks up to me every day in the newsroom and says "Tu lengua en mi culo." Do you know what that means in Spanish? No. Mm, no. Your tongue in my ass. I don't speak Spanish. Uh, <laughs> he what scares you, me. Uh, what, what, do your job. Steve, what do you say to Mike? Dude. Listen, you know, we all know a little Spanish, a little French, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what is your phrase that you say? I want, uh, I want to put my tongue in your ass. <laughs> how do you say that? Uh, let me see. I think Mike told me how, how do you El told tongo me how to say in pupo. Tu lengua in mi culo. I didn't know you were going to come up to me and, and request that every day, though. <laughs> he scares me. You, and then I Does have he really scare no, wait a minute. Let's you, be serious. You mean Steve person. would let me, freak let me tell you, you out? I had neighbors, let's walking, be serious. No, no, but I had neighbors walking out of my Reporters apartment. Reporters go why out this guy in has... the field. No, hang on for a second. Reporters go out in the field every day to ask questions. <laughs> if they did not, you would not have a newspaper every day, and you would not have any television or radio news. You should ask questions, wait but my TV sitting in a box is not the you Kennedy You worked at ABC News. <laughs> exactly. You say you worked at ABC News. That's <laughs> This is another thing that this pissed me off Friday, Howard. What is this? I went to NYU. I busted my ass to go to school. I pay. I, you know, I paid my own tuition. I worked full time. I interned here. I did internships. And he, in his report, says uh, he says he's well, giving me. I asked he to says see he's giving resume. me. Let me speak. Please. Reporters he ask questions. He says he's giving me journalism you lessons. You should know that for a kid that says he went to NYU. Where did you go to school? I Steve. went to school at the University of Western Ontario and Laval University. Where did you graduate? I did not graduate. Thank you. So don't question and where I went to school. Listen, I question everything. That's what reporters do. You, you don't think he that. went to NYU? I just wanted to see his resume. I, I know he I didn't. question everything. He won't believe. Do you think he he's will lying? not believe no, a word I say. No, I don't think he's lying. I, I do not think he's he lying. He will not believe a word I say. No. I just want to see. Just show me. But yet he believes the idol guy. He believes the uh, Robin's wrong guy. Ever since American Idol ended, (laughs) Steve's got like he's investigating the news department. (laughs) And and let me ask you something, Howard. No, but let's 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 not lose focus here. People want to know about that television, and he is hiding something. We do. Who cares? Who wants to know about it? It's in a box. What do you want to know? It's in a box. What do you think? What do you want to know about it? Show us. You know what? I don't think he's hiding anything about the TV, but something's going on in that apartment. But let me ask you something, Howard. Should a reporter who demands the truth also tell the truth? Yes. Okay, so go to Gary Preview, page two in white, if you would, please. Uh, <laughs> this, is the, this is the Michael Moore uh, alleged uh-huh. fight that he had with Steve Lankford. And what, what, what are we going to hear? Michael Moore gets a little exclusive out of Lankford. Are you Canadian? Yeah, I was. Uh, did you give up your citizenship? Uh, I don't have a passport. You didn't give up your Canadian citizenship, did you? Yeah. Yeah, why not? <laughs> well, you know, you know what? Yeah. It's a complicated thing. Back of your head, you know, you're going, nah, I might need that, right? That's uh, no, never. You're circumventing no. around the no, truth. No, no, no. You should Let, tell the well, truth. Well, if, if you, you want to play that, perhaps I might answer it. 
Mm. Go ahead. And the fact of the matter is, I'm not going to get into some big discussion with Michael Moore, who's going out the door, about whether I left Canada. I mean, come on, guys. Let's get serious. <laughs> yeah, but he asked you if you're Canadian. You said you were. I was. You still are. Mm. I do not have a passport. I'm not talking about passports. You're still a citizen. Technically. I <laughs> left 25 tell years ago. Thank you. Tell the truth. Why is that interesting? You're a reporter. Tell the truth. <laughs> Why oh. is that interesting? Oh, my lana one culo. Two languages. What is your point? I want to know about this TV. I think he's being a hypocrite. He's demanding... I think something's going on in your apartment. What's going on in my apartment? I don't know. Mm. You don't want Steve to see your apartment. I don't want to creep in my apartment. I have to work with him 10 hours a day in the newsroom. Were you afraid afraid he was going to come on to you because he keeps saying he wants to put his tongue in No, I'll be honest. Mm. My roommate has a a six-year-old kid. He's, you know, the parents are separated. He's not there I don't want this... I don't want him around a six-year-old kid. He has kids of his own. Wait a minute. You have a six-year-old kid you can't explain in your apartment? On the weekends, the parents are separated. The kid comes over. Are you for real? That you're afraid of him uh, around a young child? Mm. Are you? You're not shitting me, are you? You think he's Morales that weird? Mm. Full of it. Do you think he's completely sane? Do you think he has all his marbles? <laughs> I, I would never have a problem with him being in my house. I, I would. Mm. All right. Well, no, I just want to go up what and do you see think he's the gonna television. Do what do you think I'm going to do? Send Howard TV up, but I don't want you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> mm. I, do you remember where you work? Yeah. Yeah. Where do you work? The Howard Stern, Howard 100 News. Oh, thank you. I sort of hesitated on that, didn't I? Yeah. Don't give me journalism lessons, Steve. All right. <laughs> well, listen, why are you hiding this? What the fuck am I hiding? It's a TV in a box. I don't want you in my apartment. Is that so hard to believe? Okay, we'll send Lisa G. <laughs> when I can are listen, you moving? I can listen to Mike's voice all right. day. All right. Right. When are you moving? I don't have an exact date. I'm looking. I'm trying to look at places. Oh, then you're lying. <laughs> you can't get that voice down lower? I can, but I mean... Why what? don't you just do it? Why don't you just be like, yeah, can, you get, can you get your nose down smaller? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I did. I, I, mean, I shaved it down I was a born with this voice. I can't do anything about it. You want it. to make it lower? Like, why don't you just like... Just walk around. Let me hear your low voice. We've done this. I Let me hear it again. What do you, what do you want to hear? It's, I mean, it's not that much lower. Let me hear you get as deep as you can get. What, what, do, you want to, what do you want to hear? It's not yeah, low. It's it's not, I mean, it, this is my voice. Right. It is what it is. But Morales, right, how about... easy. How about no, Lisa he just, G? He upset Lisa me. G's. No, dude. Lisa would he, G. Would he show up at, the question. Would you show up outside Howard or Robin or Artie? Of course, or anyone I'm going to go to Howard's place. Would you go to anyone on this show? But I house? am going to go to your place to find out about the television. <laughs> you wouldn't let me in, so let Lisa G in if you're creeped out by me. And I live in a primarily me. Hispanic and African American the neighborhood. Question. They see this white guy with a microphone up in my face. The neighborhood was very my neighbors nice. Walked there by was no problem with the neighborhood. What the hell is going on? It was very nice neighborhood. But let Lisa G in to see the TV. Come on. Mm. Is she going to come to the Bronx? Why not? She's a reporter. Uh, she can come by. Thank you. I don't want you by then. So, so it's a deal. <laughs> it's a deal. Is it's, Why is everybody so creeped out? Are we going to wait? Are we going to waste a whole day of, of Lisa G's time to come up to my apartment? It's a deal to see a TV in is a box. Is it a deal or are you backing out? I think that, I think you're making mountains out of a molehill. Is it a deal or not? I don't care. Okay, deal. All right, there it is. Mm. Lisa G will be going to Mike's high pitch wow. Mike's apartment. And we'll get a report and on that. And we're going to find out about that TV in a box. All right, and bring in your citizenship, too. Uh, Howard Stern, exclusive. Bring in your American Listen, citizenship. You've really got to watch these guys fight thing. all day. I'm convinced. I just I'm convinced this. he's the, still Canadian. He's. I don't think he's American. I want to see your your naturalization <laughs> dude, papers. Dude, I have ran like a wild man. But anyway, your deflection skills need a little work. <laughs> all right. Mike, do you want to give your roommate the code word to start getting rid of the bodies and the 600-gallon <laughs> drums? Yeah, I say what... no way Lisa G makes it back from the Bronx. <laughs> I don't think she'll come to the Bronx. She... You live in a tough neighborhood? And, and her, of all people, she Friday she's calling me a Jew. She said, why do you have the a TV Jew? in a box? She says, you're such a Jew. Are Coming you... from her. Wow. What's She's that a Jew. Right? <laughs> do you guys get any work done back there in the news? I don't know. Lots of work like done. Well, Mike, why do, you, each other. why do you say coming from her? Well, what, do you, like, yeah, I mean, what is that? Why? Because she's like the most Jewish person in our newsroom. She's right? very Jewy. What does very that mean? Jewy. But how, what, I think she's the only Jewish person in your newsroom. What no, makes no, her no, no. Jewish? She's very uh, conservative with her money. <laughs> um, <laughs> need, need, I, need I go on? Yeah. Yeah. I need you to go out of course. I want to hear what more. Else? So she's conservative with her money. What else makes her Jewy? Every time one of these Jewish holidays comes by, she's got to take it off. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know, now you're onto something. If I can work on a Jewish holiday, you should too. Mm. <laughs> wow. Hey, someone told me you went to Disney World for a week by yourself. <laughs> yeah, what the. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, he sounds like Mickey. <laughs> talk about creepy. Did I you go up to Mickey Mouse and talk to <laughs> no, him? No, I didn't. Hey, what, what, are you doing? Doing? what are you doing? And the guy's probably like, hey, stop making. Hey, just because you're talking to Mickey Mouse doesn't mean you have to speak in a high voice. <laughs> and then and then Mike goes, no, 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 this is what I sound like. Hey, Mickey. Wait, wait, wait what do you do there, Mike? Hey, Mike. <laughs> I had, from when I worked What is it, it Ralph? Wait, let, let Mike explain that. Yeah, I want to hear. What did, what did you From do? From when I worked at ABC, I had a bunch of free tickets left. They were about to expire. I had time off here. I figured, let me just go use them. Who's All conservative right. with their money? What do you do? On your vacation, you use your free Disney World tickets. What do you do there by yourself? Yeah, you went yourself. Mm. It's a bunch of roller coasters and shit. Well, I mean, <laughs> I just went on the rides. <laughs> For a whole week? Did you get paired up with other um, singles? singles? Yeah, they do. They do do that. You couldn't find anyone to go to Disney World with you. It's so sad. I mean, that's a great destination. Somebody must have wanted you, to go. Do you ever travel alone sometimes? I I'm, certainly travel alone, but not to amusement parks. Okay. Disney World. <laughs> so be it. So. Oh Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have a lot of friends. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm the so JD of the newsroom all time. He's holding around by himself going in another gift shop. Say, we heard there's a special line for people who go to Disney World by themselves. Right, what right. Is. What do you mean a special line? <laughs> yeah, it's a line for singles. They had a, they had a single rider's a line. line. Really? So I didn't have to wait in any of the lines. I just went straight to the front. Were, were there a lot of other single people there? Or was it just, yeah. a line, just a line of two? No, there were a lot of single people. And there. do you all socialize with each other? <laughs> is it like the geekiest line ever? <laughs> Did you ride the loser flu? Anyone in a Darth Nihilus <laughs> costume? <laughs> no, I didn't see Darth Nihilus. No, I am uh, Darth Nihilus. <laughs> For dinner, did you like eat by yourself or did you eat in your room? No, I would eat. I would eat in the amusement park. <laughs> <laughs> but you would just go to a stand. You Parker. didn't go to the restaurant. Mike wants to kill Artie right now for right. life. I know. He's shooting. Di- you shoot dirty oh, looks over at Artie. No. He's shooting the dirty look at me and Mike. <laughs> Artie, do you ever go to Disneyland by yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I already couldn't fit in the rides, trust me. I'm just saying, you know, I mean, I'm sorry to be laughing, but it, how old are you? 29. <laughs> oh, jeez. It just got worse. Party goes, I'm sorry to be laughing. <laughs> it just, it's odd that you would go to Disney. You're a 29-year-old kid. You got kind of a happening job. You, you, you know who does that? Who? Who? No. Mental patients? <laughs> Worse, don't, don't, worse. don't go over there. Jeff the vomit guy? <laughs> Serial killers? Yeah, people you want arrested. I mean, they're the ones who would hang out at Disney by themselves. Sure. Can you imagine, though, the little kid who's sitting next to Mike on the roller coaster? Uh, Scared. And then you have a six-year-old Excuse kid. Excuse me, sir. You can't explain in your apartment. Hey, shut up. <laughs> I'm here in a single like you little fuck. You got a family. I don't. Uh. <laughs> you cocksucker. Like, you sound like a kid. Yeah. <laughs> like, what were your favorite the little rides? six-year-old kid's like, sir, don't you have any friends? <laughs> no. I couldn't find anyone to go with me. <laughs> Fucker. Hey, Mister, I don't want to grow up to be like you. So what do you th- I mean, like, so what do you do? You're like, well, it's, it's one o'clock. I finished my goofy shake. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, do you stand there and get your picture taken with the character? No. Like, pretending that you're friends. <laughs> I'm cool. Oh, my goodness. You're on the ride, the Pirates of the Caribbean Someone by Someone told me you went to a Madonna concert yourself, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I so what? So what? So uh, what? I'm, I'm not Mr. Popularity. <laughs> really? So what? <laughs> oh, I'm fucking Ralph is laughing. The only friends he has is the people he moves his off of. Artie, this is not funny. I Artie. don't understand this. <laughs> You know what? <laughs> yeah. oh, that's, that's how I'm wrong. gonna be laughing when he has a stroke. <laughs> Good line. Oh, you. Mike's gonna kill you. He's looking at you Look like he's gonna kill you. you. I'm actually worried that he will. <laughs> have you ever had? A, but have you ever had a friend? I have friends. I'm just. I'm not Mr. Popularity. As All right. I like it. Who in this room is Mr. Popularity? <laughs> Hey, you, can't, you can't find one guy that you know that would want to go see Madonna. <laughs> well, that makes sense, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think he's having his heart attack. Oh, We're not aware of it. This is the greatest thing ever. Like a virgin is killing him. <laughs> Did you sing Starlight? 
<laughs> See? Somebody get the EMS up here quick. This could be it. <laughs> did you sing Who's That Girl? Yeah. Did I, did I miss Who's That Girl? Who would you sit next to? Like, <laughs> I don't know, whoever, whoever bought the ticket. Need I remind this guy? He's the one that cried at a fucking Michael Jackson concert. <laughs> but I wasn't alone. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Mike, I gotta ask you a question because everybody's out here feeding me information. So you got the TV because the Reverend Run shows your favorite show, right? Run. No, Run. that's how you, but you guys. Hold on, hold on. Did no. you did, the episode where Reverend Run's wife has a miscarriage? Did you cry? Did I cry? Yes. <laughs> no, but I rewind. It was pretty sentimental. That's all. <laughs> she lost, she lost you her baby. You cried during that episode. Who says that? Everyone. I said it was sentimental. The woman lost her baby. Well, how is that? Did you cry? So you're not going to let Steve up in your apartment to see if the TV is there? You're going to have Lisa Jean? I don't even up. want him in my newsroom. He's right. creepy. Put him in a, in a desk Would on the other side Would you go to Disneyland the... with him? No. <laughs> no. The Reverend Run Show is your favorite show. It's not my favorite. You guys asked what I watch, and I said Rev- <laughs> Run's house. That well, was... you also said, okay, then your favorite is Little People, Big World. That's a, that's another fun show. The what fucking, the fuck the midget that? show that? <laughs> the midget show that Eric the Midget always talks about Uh-oh. it's you know this family of midgets <laughs> <laughs> what? i love these freaky shows they're, yeah, they're funny i like to watch midget shows uh, this know. guy needs his own reality show as Who's well steve i mean the, do you really think he's that weird that you wouldn't let him in your house i don't want him in my house right i just love that steve is like turning on his own people he's mm. crazy it's a slow news day <laughs> steve, uh, i wouldn't let him in my apartment either steve how Thank do you, you explain it? the guy who went to disney world by himself at 29 years old is thinks you're creepy <laughs> oh. <laughs> mike you know what you want to get you ever see those things advertised in the paper you can blow up this doll and sit it next to you in your car <laughs> so people think you're driving with like someone hiv line yeah yeah that's what I mean. You could bring it to Disneyland. Bring it to the middle I don't, of mind, I don't mind. Like rubber friend. Forget Disney World. I don't mind traveling alone. I like. I like. You know. Yeah. Being alone. My friend likes La Isla Bonita. <laughs> she sing that. Oh. <laughs> My rubber friend. I'm surprised you're talking so much. Usually you have your mouth full. Uh, oh. You woke up. I'm sorry. I'm hey, funny, someone right? told me you're throwing yourself a birthday party. It's going to be a karaoke birthday party. <laughs> I, I love how they feed you. The, the you're stuff. that into karaoke? No, I said it'd be fun to get everybody together. Yeah. Like who? All the, all, all, every time they get together, all they do is play beer pong. I thought we should get together. Who are the karaoke. people you went to Disney World with? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Artie, they're having a reunion. Get everybody together. Who's everybody? Get all the jokes in now while you're still here. Because <laughs> once you're gone, nobody will hear you, buddy. Okay, but all right. So who's everybody? Who would be on that list? Who would you invite? The, the staff here, my friends from school. Hey, Artie, you can sing karaoke at the party. <laughs> I'll sing Madonna. What you mentioned? Why couldn't you ask JD to go with you? I'm not going to... He's not going to go to Disney World with me. <laughs> yeah, then you guys could go like, oh. eat together and have a glass of wine. Would JD, go to, would JD go to the Madonna concert with you? Oh. <laughs> That's the best ever. That is the... What's going on with girls? You getting any girls? Oh, no. yeah. No. I'm here like 10 or 12 hours a week. He's like a young yeah, James Bond. Would you go to Disney World with Mike? I would not have. Why? I just, I, I don't know. He's all right to, you know, work with, but I don't know if I'd hang out with him. <laughs> oh, wow. You won't hang out with him? And I even get it from him. Like JD, I consider JD's a nerd. JD, I consider oh, my equivalent. Yeah. But he walks around with this arrogance, like he's better than me. Oh, whatever. I think because everybody back here rips on him, he says, "Oh, I'm better than Mike." So, so he even it's like rips on he me. can't hang out with you because he's too good he's, for me. He's no. got to be better than someone. Exactly. Right. <laughs> well, All of a sudden, JD it. is like you know Jack Nicholson. Compared <laughs> <laughs> to him, <laughs> see. Right. You won't hang out with Mike? I would no, hang out with should be like best said, friends. Try, try, like, if you two I, dudes got together, you might get something cool right. going. At least you have a team. Like, you could goof on other people. Yeah, That's okay. true. Yeah. Well, you that, guys should unite. <laughs> you guys remind me like the Palestinians too and the wrong. Jews. Too you're too you're too both too downtrodden. You should too, unite. Two wrongs don't make a right, dude. <laughs> Between the two of us, we could remake Revenge of the Nerds, I'm sure. Yep. <laughs> See the funny band? See, I'm JD sure. doesn't want to be put in your category. Meanwhile, I know, I'm a low life. I'm a low life to him. Meanwhile, he's, better he's the same thing as you. He's no better. You're no better than him. I didn't say I was, but I... I, I you know, missed yes, you are. I still talk to him. You're saying Disney. you won't hang out with him? No, <laughs> he, I have no too, desire to go to Disneyland and a Madonna concert. Why? He's too... He's better I don't than me. Want, I'd rather, you know, Rather stay listen to techno home. music. Yeah, I would. <laughs> and avoid Hawaii. Yeah, he, all of a sudden, you're better than me. <laughs> <laughs> what you go to one of these concerts? <laughs> 
You want to go to Madonna? What? Hey, let's have a contest. We put JD and Mike in a singles bar so you can pick up a chick fast. Oh, no. Oh, no. We got to do it. Yeah. We're doing it. You're doing it. I got to I got to say JD is going to go. Why? Jump. I don't know about that. I'm not going to talk to anyone <laughs> because the voice is going to like this yeah. is going to scare the girls off. <laughs> but that's Excuse because me. Mike is talking to people. JD won't even... yeah, Come over here. Come over here, gorgeous. <laughs> JD's such a wacko. Like he'll write he'll he'll see Beth and he goes, "Hey, gorgeous." <laughs> like, like you know, he thinks he's like cool. Yeah. I said yeah. my money's on Mike. He might have the high voice, is, but he knows how well, to talk. My yeah. voice versus his social skills. Too. Right. You know, like once he opens his mouth, he's got a normal voice. But. Hey! Uh, did I tell you girls about the time I went to the Madonna concert? <laughs> <laughs> hey, laugh all you want, but I got a great story about Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> No, JD, JD JD's over there. I, I don't know. I don't like her. I like her. You guys ever heard of Epcot Center? <laughs> <laughs> I, I drank in all the different countries. <laughs> JD is, thinks he's better than me, but I still have a good relationship with my parents, so that's mm. one thing I've got right. over him. Yeah, what do you do? <laughs> that's good for a chick to hear. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you see that nerd over in the corner? He doesn't talk to his mom. <laughs> <laughs> I do. So if you girls want to choose who to go out with, choose the guy with the mom. <laughs> My mom ain't banging some Hawaiian. <laughs> wow. Uh, hey, that's our friend. <laughs> <laughs> I got to see that show. No, we don't. Yes, we do, J.D. Come on. I'm not going to talk prove, to anyone. I'm going to sit there. Prove that you're not Mike's equal. I didn't say I wasn't his equal. I just, I, I don't like to hang Fuck out with a you, lot of people. Fuck you, JD. <laughs> the new odd couple. I was on Mr. Toad's Wild Ride for a whole day, so go <laughs> fucking suck off. <laughs> 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 yeah. Maybe I went myself, but at least I was there. <laughs> I had my own teacup. I'm participating in life. You know what I would do? I would shoot. I want to get the script to like Ocean's 13, that buddy movie, <laughs> and have these two guys star in it. Yeah. <laughs> this is George Clooney and Brad Pitt. Yeah. One guy be Clooney and one be Pitt. <laughs> we just stick you in the movie. <laughs> I'm fucking Angelina Jolie. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> We're high pitch Eric in there, too. No. Just these two. <laughs> it's just them. <laughs> it's enough high pitching. Get that Darth Nihilus guy to make an appearance. Hi. Hi, I'm Hello. Darth Nihilus. Hi, guys. All right. What time would you get to, like, the park? <laughs> when I would wake up. When I would wake up. Where hey, do you I got to go. What am I doing? I, you want to interview him more? sorry. I don't know. Well, it is interesting. You, you'd go at the beginning of the day. I'd wake up. You know, it's vacation. I'd wake what? up 10, 11. I'd show up at noon. Man, look at you, Mr. Rides. Lewis. Where do you have breakfast? Well, I never have free time like that. So no I, breakfast? No. You went to lunch? Yeah, I don't eat breakfast hardly. And what do you do? You sit by yourself? Do you read the paper when you eat no lunch? <laughs> or do you keep, to keep yourself busy? I mean, I did guess. you have a plan of which part of the uh, park you were going to attack? I would just go to no, just, today. I'm going. Hey, where do you want to go? <laughs> oh, there's nobody here. Do you ever get the blues like when you're by yourself at Disney World? No, I love being by myself because I don't have to answer to anybody. I don't uh, have to argue with anybody. There you go. You know, right. it's just I do what I want when I want. Yeah. So you what did you do? Like awkward in, right. in the park there by yourself? No, because there were plenty of other people all by themselves. <laughs> no, but they were really with me. Yeah, they were like threes, and so they had a single. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think has slept with more chicks in their lifetime, JD or High Pitch Mike? Mike, have you had a girl? Mike said yes. he never. I've gone on to this on the intern show, but yeah, my sex life now is nothing to talk about. There is no sex life. All right. Really? You're a young man. You're not a bad looking dude. How many oh. girls have you slept with them? Two. 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 And is JD only one, right? JD got one, but from the show. You got him outside of the show, right? Way before the show. Right. He never got a girl before the show. See, you so, got him there. Is JD really has? He just had the one. Is that is that he, official? He, he went with some. He chicks. claims there was another, right? Yeah, porno chick. Oh, the porno chicks down at Hedonism. Would you fuck a porno chick? If she was tested, yeah. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to. We got to get you laid. I mean, Can I have some, some of your urine? <laughs> <laughs> Something like <laughs> <laughs> <Taste> clean. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Let me smell your pussy, see if there's anything wrong with it. <laughs> oh, this is bad pussy. Oh, another two year drought. <laughs> Oh, shit. That's it. You can't be too choosy, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, skip the test. Fuck it. 
<laughs> Your freshness date has expired. <laughs> You're going to be pissed. Uh, what? You got AIDS? Well, let me think about it. <laughs> Want to go to Disneyland? Oh, fuck you, man. I love, I love watching Artie laugh now because when he goes home, it's nothing but sadness on the inside. <laughs> you know? Dude, you make me feel great about myself. <laughs> No, no, no more depression. Your depression is lifted. That's well, it. Mike, I understand you don't want Stevie Yow, and I respect that. Thank you. Can you I know, call you I mean, every day? <laughs> Lily Sadigo. Just want confirmation that the TV's still. How about I just bring a picture of it? Why did no. somebody? Why oh, do we need come to, on, why Steve, do we need right? to waste? No. That makes it sound like you're hiding something. Exactly. What exactly. are you hiding up there? Nothing. But Lisa G needs to go to the Bronx. Well, I mean, what do you care? Story you're you're there every day. And maybe she'll go out with you. It's the world of Howard Stern. I don't think I'm her type. And you live with a six-year-old kid, you said? On Just the weekends, weekend. the parents are divorced, and the kid, you it's know, it's probably nice to get some human contact. You are you friends with your roommate? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. We've, he had a kid a few years ago, and you know, I'm the godfather. And oh, wonderful. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go again. <laughs> Fucking hey. Oh. He has nobody in his life, and he's laughing May at me. May your first child be a masculine <laughs> child. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the godfather. <laughs> Godfather. Godfather. <laughs> oh, here, here comes his bad... Uh, Luca, my most valued friend! Here, here comes the bad part where he reenacts every scene from Godfather. Here we go. Uh, Is it true, and tell me the truth, <laughs> the week you were at Disney by yourself, was it also gay week? Uh, <laughs> oh, if it was what? really gay week... That was the first thing he tried to point I'm out. I'm faint laugh. Was it gay that week? That was the first thing he tried to point out. Mm. The dates of my trip, which was before Memorial Day... <laughs> The dates of my trip. <laughs> You're killing Artie. You're literally going to get your head. Artie gets his fucking Artie head in. Artie lives survive it's gay the day. day. It's the day she was here for gay week. He can't survive that. I'm not going to survive it. He's going to hit his head. Watch. He, he can't survive that. Life. Oh, please don't leave. <laughs> was, it real, was it by accident? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody get him a cupcake quick before he oh, dies. Oh my Mike, what happened? You didn't know? The, the days of my trip. I'll wait till, no, go I'll wait till he's wheezing. The days of your trip. The days of my trip overlapped by one day. I was there before it started. The day it started, I was leaving. Was that the best day? So you were there for the kick? Was it, <laughs> you the was it weird? Speaker? Did any guys like approach you? I didn't even see gays. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, so you were there for a full gay day. <laughs> the days of my trip overlap. Wow. I'm not, I'm not the one. So you were there for Gay Pride Week. <laughs> <laughs> you were there Excuse for me. Gay. Are you here for Gay Pride? <laughs> I, lo I love how Artie puts on the macho act when he's the one that got jizz on his face. I'm, I'm the guy goofy fucks in the ass. <laughs> Let me tell you something. A, I admire you. It is very difficult. Is. I think to go you're the greatest you're, guy you're ever. You're a brave young man. Howard, right. I see myself like you as you were when you were a kid. You were Absolutely. a loner. You were a loner, were you not? I had no choice. Exactly. Nobody was looking to be with me. That's how I see myself. That's right. Yeah, but Nothing wrong with it. At 29, though, he had, he had gotten through it. <laughs> he had grown out of it. I'm not gay. I fuck chicks. When, when are you getting married, Artie? I don't know, man. Uh, Actually, when are you getting a girl? I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 you know what? I, I'm, I'm sorry, but I just, I, you know what? I thank you for this. This was the greatest. Steve, are you done? When is Gay Week in Knoxbury for? <laughs> <laughs> Gay week, it was gay week. <laughs> gay pride week. Not the week I was there. Get... Right, Someone it, said it, it, is. it was gay pride week. Well, right. was well. A, they call it gay days, yeah. He was he was there for gay pride week. <laughs> Not the week. I was there. I was All leaving right, the day it started. All right. Mm. I love how Artie loves twisting. He just took one day. Oh, I'm in trouble. It's what gay a, pride week. What a coincidence. <laughs> What? Excuse me, you're looking kind of hot. <laughs> Thank you. Jeff, go ahead real quick. Oh, Howard, uh, who do I send the medical bill to when I have an aneurysm? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I have ever laughed so hard for so long in my life. I literally, I almost passed out. That, Man, that was the best hour of radio I think you've ever done. It was amazing. I wish we had um, done it three hours ago, though. Oh, it was worth, worth every penny I've Thank ever you. taken seriously. Thank you very much. Bob, go ahead, you're on. Uh, oh, great show, guys. you got to keep Mark. 
or Mike out of the studio. <laughs> I ran a red light camera. I was laughing so hard with Artie and all that goofy. <laughs> that's the hardest I've ever laughed too. I think. I mean, and I've laughed hard in this studio, man. That's the. That's the that was Artie still hasn't guy. recovered. All right, Bob. Thanks, Bob from Baltimore, Robin's old hometown. Uh, thanks, Bobby. Jenny, are you yes. too cool? Are you too cool for this guy? No, I'm not too cool. I just, I am not a very social person, first of all, and I just, I, I wouldn't go to Disneyland and uh, and um, a Madonna concert. He's not doing things that appeal to you. Yeah, but as a person, if, if he wants to play beer pong, I'll play him in beer pong. You know, just do things that you actually like to do. Yeah. What about he says that you're you think you're above the news team because you get ragged on so much back here? No, no, no. But I mean, I I, I think he's got a bit of an ego himself. So I don't think I'm better than anyone. And whatever. Are you pissed though that you're lumped in with him as like the same? You know that you're the Howard 100. You're I'm Howard 100 News is uh, no, the equivalent of him. No, I'm just pissed off at life. Period. So is this the next new team in, in acting right here? <laughs> we could be the dream team, I think, if he, if he would uh, be willing to hang out. But I, I think he's too good for uh, No, I just don't want to hang out at a Madonna concert in Disney World. But I didn't invite you to Madonna. Okay, then. Well, I'm just saying, I was just answering their question. Do you think... If you want to play beer pong, we'll play beer pong. Because right. so, I don't think there's really this air of cockiness around J.D. Do you, you do see that? that uh, he, you don't see it in the studio, but when he's talking to me in the hallway or if I run into him. It's busting balls. Everyone Everyone busts each other's balls around here. Well, Mike and seems I to finally think, bust someone's balls, and of course it's cockiness. Well, Mike seems to think that, you know, sort of shit rolls downhill, and then you, you view them as below your hill. Well, no, he's not, I mean, he busts balls too. I mean, we all bust balls, you know? Mike, speaking right? right? Yeah, I'm not ah. his balls back, but it's, you, it's usually uh, starting with him. Uh, if you guys are going to be the next big tandem, you need to learn to get along off camera, though. We'll get along fine. We don't fight. All right. Well, speaking Stop of me. busting balls, Mike, you took it pretty hard in there, man. Yeah, so be it. I mean, it is what it is. Do you really feel that way? Because there's there's moments there where it looks like you were just completely... No, I, I, I love when everybody goofs on me, but Artie, he just takes it a step further. Yeah, you were you were firing back. It seemed to really hit a nerve with you, yeah, the things Artie well, was he, I think he thinks he's perfect in his own mind. He forgets that he's over 300 pounds. He forgets that he's near stroke, you know. He forgets that he's alone. But do you, see, do you see the humor in the fact that you went to those concerts by yourself? Yeah, and, but, you know. And that, you know, Madonna's not the most masculine... Of, uh, of course not, of course not. But I grew up in the 80s, you know. She was a big hit in the 80s, so that's it. What about, you know, like a, a guy with a higher pitched voice going to a place that's sort of run by a character with a high pitched voice? Uh, it was a vacation. I mean, there's nothing more to it. It's a vacation to get away from work. When you see Artie around the hallways, though, now, is there going to be a little bit of resentment there? No, you know, I feel, it, he cracks on me, but I feel bad for him, you know. I'm, I'm afraid of the day when we come in here and it's time to go to the hospital to cover him. Wow, you're relentless on this guy. You really think he's going to die he, soon? He needs to take care of himself. He's got serious issues that he may be beginning to deal with, and uh, we'll see. Speaking, speaking of issues, though, the guy who started this whole thing was your, was your co-worker, Steve Langford, over here. My buddy, Michael. Oh, come on. Oh, come please on, buddy. Don't, please come don't on. touch me. Come on, give me a hug. Don't touch me. Are come you guys on. all right? Seriously. He is we're the okay. man. Let we're me okay tell you all, seriously. Okay. This is a hard-working guy who does as, a great job as is this at guy. Howard 100 News. He's a little kooky sometimes. But today, on the air, there's a little bit of dissension among you too. You won't I let him in your apartment. I just think. Well, no. I mean, we're covering it strictly from a news point of view. He's a news guy. Lisa, isn't, you're a news guy. Uh, we go to cover news, and the news story is what happened to that TV that he won. People want to know. I show up. He's a news guy. He knows he should let me in. He doesn't want to. Fine. He's got something to hide. Now maybe yeah, so he'll let uh, Lisa G. In. Why are you letting me go? Because Lisa G doesn't creep me out like students. But you know what? All in all, again, he is a hardworking guy. Professionally, I love this guy. But I think there's a certain amount of privacy that everyone on the show should be entitled to in their homes. Not on the show. Yeah, but Talk that's about what you want to do. What's the difference, me or him? Because yeah, exactly. he kept saying it's private. So he creeps me out. You don't. Oh, come on. Listen, if Michael came over to my apartment, if I'd won a TV and I had some running gag about whether it was in a box or not, he shows up outside my apartment. Come on in, buddy. Yeah, Howard thought you were hiding something. What's to hide? Come on over. Well, uh, Steve was there. Come on. 
These guys are the best. <laughs> I love <laughs> no, You just made the greatest radio of all time. Thank this is invalid. This I'm, kid deserves a raise. I'm glad you had him. You were great. Laugh. I want to go with you to Disney World next time. So at least we'll go. We'll bird dog. It can't be gay week, though. We'll go on hetero <laughs> Whatever heterosexual week is, we'll go. And then, you know, and we'll shut this guy up here. Good job. Oh, man. I love Mike.